So the question is, uh, your company recently expanded on Higgins Street and you've added employees and, and space. And so is that a sign of uh, just your company alone doing really well or is, do you, are you seeing manufacturing returning to Worcester or you know, the U.S. as a whole? I think it's a combination of both. Um, the expansion that we did up at, uh, up at Higgins Street was the result of um, our markets being strong, agriculture, and the housing market returning. Housing market, uh, lawn and garden, which we serve quite extensively, is, follows the economy. Trucking that we serve quite extensively follows the economy. And uh, agriculture has been expanding in the United States and abroad because of the increased need for feed and uh, the higher commodity prices. So our markets have expanded, but there's also a, re a resurgence of um, are returning to the United States for a couple of reasons. One is the costs in Asia have have risen, um, not a labor cost, but uh, other costs have risen. Uh, uh, but also bigger companies, and we supply mostly large OEMs, have um, decided that they need a short supply line. Uh, that's most we've noticed it most in in the snow industry. Uh, as I think I mentioned, we do business with Aaron's and Toro and people of that kind. So we, uh, we focused on that industry because if it snows before Christmas, they want to make a lot of product because people think the winter's ahead of them. But if it snows after Christmas, they don't. And with a 12-week lead time from the Orient, um, they can't either don't have enough equipment, enough parts, or they don't have, um, or they need to get more. So when the box stores call up and want 50,000 more machines, they have to be, we, somebody has to respond pretty quickly. So I think the combination of, of the markets that we've gone after and served and the, the, the resurgence in the United States of um, industries in general uh, have, have led to our, our success.